This video will show you how to clean your knapsack sprayer after spraying. You will need your pesticide label, your knapsack sprayer and its handbook, clean water, a mixing tray or a square meter of plastic sheet, a spill kit, detergent, a paper towel and plastic bag, a small container, record sheets, and your personal protective equipment. Unless the pesticide label directs otherwise, wear the same PPE for cleaning your knapsack sprayer as you do for applying the pesticide. You will also need a safe area for cleaning. Refer to your label for any advice on selecting an area that is away from animals, children, and surface water such as streams and ponds, and it is not near any drinking water sources and other sensitive areas. It is important to wear PPE because the sprayer is likely to be contaminated on the outside as well as the inside, and these deposits can easily contaminate you and your workplace. Add about a liter of clean water to the sprayer tank. If the label requires you to use detergent, add it to the water now. Replace the lid and shake, and then carefully invert the sprayer. Remove the nozzle and its filter, and soak both in a container. Remove the lid and tank basket filter. Direct the end of the lance into the tank and pump the lever to circulate the spray solution. Without the nozzle in place, you can pump very easily and will get a very rapid flow through the system which washes out the pump and all the hoses. Check that the lid, filter basket, nozzle and its filter are clean before now refitting. Where the detergent used will not damage plants, spray the rinsing water onto an unsprayed part of the treatment area. Using only water, rinse the tank twice more in the same way. The inside of the sprayer should be clean. Next, wash the outside of the sprayer over your plastic sheet or tray and dispose of the rinsing water safely. As well as triple rinsing your sprayer, it is important to triple rinse any emptied pesticide containers. It is always best to do this at the time of mixing so that the water used to clean the empty containers can be included as part of the water volume and used to form the spray solution. Have a look at the video on mixing pesticides for a fuller explanation. Even though you have washed the containers, replace the caps securely and store the containers safely until you can dispose of them. When mixing and spraying your last tankful, you will have mixed a little less pesticide than you needed and left a small area unsprayed. This means that you will have no leftover spray to dispose of and you can also spray your previously unsprayed area with the water that you used to clean your sprayer. If your calculations haven't quite worked out as you'd planned and you still have cleaning water remaining, identify an uncropped weedy area on which you can safely spray thus disposing any excess spray solution and tank rinsings. Never pour these rinsings down drains or at any single point. For more information about using pesticides and which PPE to use, visit our website.